Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Spirit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is my second video for the month of September. Coming back to the channel after a six month hiatus. I am using the beautiful cards here. Um, the compass cards. I forgot their name again. Secret Traveler. I always forget the name of this deck. It's just such a beautiful deck and it's very to the point. I'm going to be swapping up this deck between this deck and the Enchanted Map deck, which is this one. This one I use primarily when I feel like there's an answer to a question regarding love. Okay? So, let's see what Spirit wants to bring through for Aries. 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 Okay? Now, like I say in all my videos, it's not time specific. It is not gender specific. When I say female or male, I mean energy. And just because I am downloading this video in the month of September 2020 does not mean it's just for this month. Time is an illusion. You can go onto my channel a year from now and pick a reading that may resonate with you during that time. This is just a voice for someone who needs to hear it. So if you're compelled and you hear it and it resonates with you, wonderful. It's not going to resonate with everyone because this is just a general read, but I am channeling information and I am not a tarot taught reader. I am a spirit communicator, a medium. I don't like the term psychic and you will never hear me use the term type psychic for myself because I don't believe in that term. <clears throat> so um, even though I am gifted, I've been this way since I was a child. I do this to help people in their journey through life. Um, I have a Patreon channel, I have a Twitch channel, I have a Twitter and an Instagram. If you need to contact me and you want to set up a private reading, I do several types of private readings and if you want that, you can contact me through those uh, social media sites. Or if you want to subscribe to my Patreon and support my, my gift and my uh, purpose to give out, you know, information and guidance, go check out my Patreon. I offer several different tiers. One of them being, uh, it's a newly added tier that I just added. It is, I'm just going to pull it up while I'm shuffling the deck. Let's see. Sorry, I am pulling up the page because I always forget how many tiers that I created on my page. Whew, today is just a very spiritually energized day. The lowest tier that I offer over there is $5, and the largest tier, I think there's eight levels of tiers on my page, which are eight choices for you to subscribe. The most expensive is the newest one that I just added today called Spirit Walking. What that means is it's basically just for those wanting to reach out to the afterlife or to the other side. It's a very specific reading. I also have a really cool reading that actually I have a subscriber for the 3333 one and I just I really love it um, anyways so let's get on to your reading Aries the way it works is I shuffle the deck and see what cards fall out I will be drawn to either pull a card from the love deck I just showed you or the animal totem deck or it could be the vortex deck it just depends on how the cards lie and what spirit wants me to communicate to those that are Aries. I have some sage burning over here. I have a ton of crystals. And yeah, it's very, very, um, whew, it's intense in here. Too many cards fell out. I got to shuffle them. <clears throat> very intense energy in here today. I got a new tapestry. You'll see when you come on my YouTube channel now, you will see either different tapestries like this. Or you will see my face. It just depends on the mood and what is going on. And uh, the deck. So next month is October, which is the month of Samhain. The month that I celebrate my path, right? And I will be using several different amazing decks that I have used in my past. Um, the Halloween deck is one of them. The Book of Shadows is another one. And a few other ones. 
Um, I can't wait to share those with you next month. Some of the decks I will primarily only use for Patreon. So if you're interested, go check that out. The link is below, as well as my Twitch channel, which you can either follow for free and get free readings on Friday nights at 9 o'clock Central Time, or you can subscribe and subscribers get bonus emotes and different things over there. On my YouTube channel, starting in the month of January, I will be doing uh, probably a giveaway once a month, as well as on my Patreon, I will be doing giveaways as well, and on my Twitch. I'm just working that all out. So, if you are interested also in ASMR, I will be doing ASMR videos uh, first here on YouTube, recorded. Um, and then I will slowly start adding ASMR live on Twitch. And I'm actually working on either deciding on doing a live YouTube video with readings or live Facebook. So if those are things you're interested in, I'd love to hear from you. Someone suggested I do Facebook live readings where you do a certain amount donation for cards. Either three card, five card, eight card, or whatever. And uh, yeah, so that should be interesting. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I, I just don't know if I want to do it on YouTube or Facebook. I don't really use my Facebook as much as I use YouTube or um, Twitter. So let's see what we got here. Sometimes the cards will not fall out. It just depends on the evening and what's going on. Actually, some cards fell out. So we're going to take them. I'm going to lay them out first. And then I'm going to feel if I need to get any more cards. Actually, you know, they're telling me to split this up. So I'm going to take this deck and I'm going to shuffle the other deck. <clears throat> this is the Enchanted Map Oracle deck. It's made by Colette By Baron Reed. I think I've had this deck for uh, maybe about a year and a half or so. Uh, that's another thing I wanted to bring up here on the channel that I didn't bring up in my welcome or my last video is if you want to donate to the cause, you can donate to my Amazon wish list or my PayPal as tips for readings if you feel this resonates with you and you want to tip to me that would be wonderful all money that i make goes back into content for you the subscriber also my amazon wish list has items for an art videos and art stream so there's art stuff on there as well as decks and so there are a couple of decks that people have gifted to me actually one of the decks that i'm going to use next month which i took out that actually was gifted to me the Halloween deck was gifted to me last year by a client that gets a reading twice a year. And then another deck that was just recently donated through my Amazon wish list as a payment for a mini reading on Twitch is this beautiful, this is one of my, I really like this deck. This is the newest deck that I have. It is called the Oracle of Souls. So I'll be using that in the Halloween deck next month as well as the Book of Shadows. So we're gonna see how many cards fall out of this deck. This deck is a little stiffer um, than this deck. So the cards sometimes have a hard time coming out. Um, they look bent, but it's just because they're thick. They're thick paper. All right, we're gonna take those. They're thick, thick, whatever card stock or whatever they used for these are very, very thick. All right, so we're gonna lay them out the way they fell out. And then I will show you the cards as I go through this reading. All right, we're going to take this all in. We're going to sit for a moment in it. We're going to see what, 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 what the feeling is in these cards. As I'm sitting here, whew, taking it all in with my third eye, I'm going to burn some sage to cleanse. I've been doing this with all the readings. And we're going to ask Spirit to channel any information that Aries needs to hear. If this resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, you may want to look up your astrology sign and see where your houses lie. It may be another, uh, another sign that may resonate with you more than this, or it just may not be the right time for this reading for you. Let's see what we have. Aries. Okay, Aries. Ooh, I feel like whoever I'm reading for, 
we've had okay they're showing me the number six so in the last six months or six years i'm thinking it's six months you have had a lot of ups and downs in your life a lot of intense pressure i feel like pressure at work and pressure in your home life i'm going to show you the card too and it says trust there's a divine plan you have a lot of stress in your job and it feels like sometimes you you shut down you're overwhelmed by it which is normal that's absolutely normal the one thing I will tell you is that they're showing me water so if you're not planning a trip somewhere with water or fishing I see a boat I don't know if you boat for a de-stressor, but they're showing me fishing now. So either you're going to go on a fishing trip or a charter or something, or you're going to plan on one, or somehow, if you're not a fisherman, somehow this trip is just going to fall into your lap. Someone's going to invite you and you're just going to go. So I definitely see water and fishing. And like an unexpected, like, hey, let's go and let's do this. And you're like, yes, let's go. I also feel because it's laid out next to the gates of triumph card there's going to be a job change and i'm going to tell you there's a do you see how the door is open and it says success expands in your life something's going to happen where the door is going to close with this stressful job i'd say usually they don't give me time frames but they're showing me between 12 months and 24 months so between a year and two years, not a, not not from now to a year. After your year from now, whenever you're watching this video, I feel like there's going to be a job change within that 12 months. Okay? The second 12 months. I know that's confusing, but it all depends on when someone comes to the channel to watch this video. They need to hear this. The job is going to be a lot less stressful and more money. And it's going to be helping people. I feel like this isn't a field we're helping. And answering the call, the time is now. This is your ancestors, Aries, reaching out to you to reconnect with yourself. And what I mean by that is your soul. Reconnect with your being. Reconnect with your center. Reconnect with your heart. Reconnect with your chakras. Reconnect with yourself. I feel like maybe you don't spend enough time on self care for yourself, which is a huge thing for me to share with people because in the way society is now, especially with the virus and different things going on, we don't make enough time for ourselves, right? We're always stretching thin for everyone else, including kids, family members, spouses, etc. I do it as well. When it comes to work, the dogs, the house, I'm starting to learn that even though I have a ton to do around here, to take the time to sit and do the things that I need to do first that are important, like my Twitch stream, the videos here that I gave up six months ago because I needed a break and I had a lot going on in my life, because me helping you guys is therapeutic for myself as well. So, all right, the other deck coming apart. I want you to really look at this picture. The way it's laid out. Coming apart. Now this deck is always in pertaining to relationships or love. And I feel like whoever these Aries, group of Aries, that source is telling me to read for, have just recently had a breakup. Now this person who, these group of people that have had breakups, some of you, I would say 50% of you, have whoever it is that you broke up with or broke up with you, but I think it's more of on your end, want to come back. I'm going to tell you a lot of them were toxic relationships and you know in your heart that it you shouldn't go backwards. Okay? If two people cannot work on improving their relationship, then there's no reason for the person to go back. No matter what. If it's detrimental to your well-being even if you don't want to be alone you do not go back to a toxic 
unhappy, miserable relationship. So many people are so afraid to be alone that they stay in loveless marriages, loveless relationships, etc. And I'm not judging because I did the same. Okay? Now, the wishing well is a card that comes up next to it, which means anything is possible if you have faith. So if there's a wish or something you want to succeed at, this is the time to do it. This is the time to really work on focusing what it is you truly want in your personal life or your work. I think it's more your personal life. I was getting ready to say with your job, but they're saying, nope, it has to do with your personal life. Faith. Faith. Faith is huge. A lot of people walk through life without faith, and I'm not judging, but it, faith is very important when it comes to wanting to manifest anything positive in your life and next to it is amazing this is this is amazing that this card came out next to it the field of dreams so what that tells me is if you are strong enough aries to have the faith to make the wishes and write a list and journal what you want the wishing well is going to provide it okay anytime i see a lep because I'm part Irish, part Italian, and I'm shaman Native American. Okay, anytime I see this card or anything pertaining to wishes, I always see leprechauns, rainbows, four leaf clovers, all of that. And this card is just stunningly beautiful. So, if you really push through and write down your journaling, I would suggest whoever these Aries are that I'm reading for to journal down every night something you want to accomplish. Whether it's really, really small and has to do with like as simple as painting the house or painting a room or going on a trip for a weekend, anything, just writing it down or writing your thoughts, affirmations for yourself. And then, of course, the next card is slow and steady. They're telling you once you make these decisions to make sure you you live in the moment. Don't be rushing 50 steps ahead. Live in the moment. So many people are in such a rush with their jobs and home life. I do the same thing. I get stressed at work. Then I come home. I'm so tired from work. I have rheumatoid arthritis. So sometimes I have flare-ups. And when I push myself too much, I have even worse flare-ups. So it's knowing your... Knowing your... What's the word? Um limitations knowing your limitations sometimes when i channel readings i lose the grasp of words because they take words out of my brain i swear to god to bring you messages so yeah knowing your limitations and knowing not to stretch yourself too thin as well as what they're telling me now i will say i see that trip that I was talking about before, I'm going to bring uh, the Vortex deck out. I feel like I need to pull one of these cards. Um, I feel like the water, the fishing trip that I keep seeing, or the boat, or the water, I think it has to do with your bucket list. And suddenly, something's going to come to be in this trip, or this boat, or this water trip, whatever it is. Vacation, maybe, a mini vacation is just going to kind of fall, manifest, if you do what you need to do to keep yourself, you know, uh, thinking positive and not surrounding yourself with negative. And if your job is stressful, right, to do things that make you less stressed. Um, not everybody is spiritual like myself and most people that watch this channel. However, meditation, relaxing, going for a walk in the park, going for a walk in the forest. The beach is huge. I love going to the beach. I live like an hour, I think an hour and 15 minutes away from the beach. And um, sometimes the traffic is, you know, I'm not, I'm a homebody, so I don't get out very often, but I'll go and just walk on the beach. And it's just such a, such a recharging energy. So the card that I pulled for you says, and I'll show it to you in a moment. What a beautiful card. I'll envision the behavior I desire to inspire. Okay, I want you to really listen to these words. 
I will envision the behavior I desire to inspire. Her hand is on her heart. Everything that you want to accomplish or help others with, compassion, love, determination, she's holding her heart. So now I'm going to read to you what it says, okay? Because every one of these has a definition on the back. It says, if we were a parent or anyone wanting to inspire positive behavior from another, we would do our personal vibrational work first. We would align with our source energy by envisioning the outcome that we seek and by holding those involved as positive objects of our attention. We would not allow any current unwanted behavior to be the reason for our attention to them. So it's important for whatever Aries I'm reading for to journal, whether it's first thing in the morning when you wake up or at night before you go to sleep, I suggest getting a journal, two small journals, one for affirmations, positive words of encouragement for yourself, thoughts that you write down about that, and then the second one is going to be about your, uh, how will we word this? Let's label the second journal, whatever your name may be, number one bucket list. And then write down things as small as, like I said, painting the bathroom to as large as a huge cruise. And write them down as you feel them during the day. Meaning, if you're sitting down at night to go to sleep and that's when your thoughts run through your mind, do it then. If it does it in the middle of the day, bring it with you in your purse or your backpack or in your car. And if it comes to you in the morning, write it down when you wake up. I journal because it helps me and I journal positive affirmations for myself so then when I'm struggling, I will go look at that journal and remind myself at how far I've come because what happens is when you're having a moment of uncertainty, uh, negative energy, anxiety, any of the above, I suggest you go and look at your journal and go back a year. And when you do that, like now I go back to some of my writings that I have from 15 years ago, and it's so crazy to look at things you wrote when you were in such a different state of mind and energy. I promise you it will help you in your journey to be a positive, uplifting person who can manifest their own desires. It's not in the way you do things. It's the way you carry yourself and your true intent to get there. If you're trying to get everywhere shortcuts, it's never going to happen like you want it to because you're taking shortcuts. I tell people that who are, I'm not judging, but I tell people that who are on the short list for spiritual healing, right? And what I mean by that is, the people who slightly have a gift and just want to get from A to Z like in a year and they want to do this for a living and they want to do that and they but they haven't done the work on themselves. I am going to tell you, I do this and I help people because I've done so much work on myself the last 15 years that it is very therapeutic for me to help others in sharing my journey and the things I've gone through that other people may be going through now. Um, and that's why I'm starting to offer a mentorship next year on Patreon because I want to help young women, young men who are at a standstill in their life spiritually like I was and I didn't have a mentor. I didn't know what half of these terms meant. I didn't know what any of this stuff meant. So that's one of the major reasons why I started a Patreon channel to help <laughs> pugs, to help people with whatever questions and whatever state of mind they're at in their life. I hope this reading resonates with some of you Aries out there. Like I said, time is just an illusion. This reading is uploaded in September. However, it doesn't mean it's just for this September 2020. It could be somebody looking at my videos next year and it may pertain to them. Not every reader is for everyone. I do swear sometimes on here and I'm very blunt. A lot of people may not like that, but there's so many good readers on YouTube that you can find. If you are looking to schedule a private reading, check out all my social medias. 
I also do a Twitch stream where I do free little readings of three or four cards on Friday nights at 9 central time. Or you can subscribe as low as $5 a month to my Patreon. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Blessed be.